Hey, Destiny, thanks for doing this. Um, seemed like the game at Baton Rouge, you and Zaya kind of switched in and out of handling the ball. And one was shooting and one was playing kind of the true point guard. And you did that again today. Is that just an LSU thing or is that could that be something that you guys do throughout the rest of the season? Um, it's really up to the coach. <laughs> just an adjustment she made for this game. I can't say for every other game. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Just how comfortable are you two out there, you know, kind of playing all? Where was the last part? It went on mute. I couldn't quite hear you. How comfortable are you out there with each other? Um, I feel like we're pretty comfortable with each other. Um, every day we're just, you know, growing as players and learning, you know, each other's, what each other likes and our differences of, you know, how to feed each other the ball. So, I mean, I feel like we're pretty comfortable out there. We just, you know, still learning and still growing. Mike and then Keith. Sorry, making adjustments right now. Uh, Destiny, you look back to last game, you guys had eight turnovers as a team, and then today, you know, 20 turnovers. Um, obviously, you guys did a lot of good things, second chance opportunities on the glass, but, you know, those turnovers, what do you guys have to do, you think, to be able to fix that? Is it just carelessness sometimes with the ball, or do you think it's just being maybe just a little too aggressive? Um, I feel like it can be both. Um, I feel like a lot of times we can be careless, um, and we're not really – Watching the defense, we're just, you know, worried about, you know, getting whoever the ball. So we just have to make sure we read the defense first, but also protect the ball and, um, you know, just 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 really preserve the ball. So, yeah. Keith and then Joe. Hey, Destiny. Um, can you just talk about what was the difference in the from the first half to the second half? The first half, you guys really moved the ball. It was a lot more crisp. But the second half, the ball just seemed to stick. And then the fourth quarter, eight turnovers and only two made field goals. What was kind of the difference from the first half to the second half? Um, <laughs> that was pretty much the difference. I mean, first first half, I feel like, you know, we were moving the ball. Um, you know, it was much flow where, you know, as far as second, second half, it wasn't the same. Um, I, I don't really know what it – exactly what it was. I just feel like it was a mixture of everything and we just really need to um, do a better job coming out second half, you know, playing exactly how we played, you know, the first half. So really just ended the game off how we started. Um, and I feel like we, you know, we kind of failed at that today, but we, we also, you know, did a lot of good things to come on on top as well, so. And we'll close it out with Joe. Destiny, just building off that point there, when you talk about that fourth quarter, a lot of the damage LSU did and some of the mistakes that piled up was with Boston on the bench. So when you look at some of the other players and mixing of the lineups, what do you think you guys need to work on in practice to help some of those key role players find that comfort and rhythm in a highly competitive game like that fourth quarter against LSU today? I feel like we did that today, which is that, I mean, I feel like people need to be in those type of situations and learn from them. Um, so I just feel like that was a, this game was a learning, um, moment, um, for those who really don't play, um, in those type of, um, experiences. So that'll, that'll help them grow, um, as well as practice, you know, practicing to prepare for the games as well.